From the tallest dog to walk the world, to another one weighing in at a whopping 343 pounds, we take a look at 10 of the biggest dog breeds in the world. Number 10. Tibetan Mastiff The Tibetan Mastiff is an ancient breed of muscular, large dogs with thick, usually dark coats. Originally bred by the nomadic cultures of Central Asia like Nepal, China, and of course Tibet, the name Tibetan Mastiff is actually somewhat misleading because the dog is not actually a Mastiff. As a matter of fact, Tibetan Mountain Dog would probably be a better name. Male Tibetan Mastiffs can reach a height of around 33 inches or 83 centimeters and end up weighing an average between 100 and 160 pounds, although it's not uncommon for them to exceed this weight. This breed is capable of confronting predators the size of leopards or wolves and is therefore used as a flock guardian in Tibet. Number 9. English Mastiff when it comes to body mass, the English Mastiff is definitely one of the largest breeds in the world. You can find records of these massive dogs all the way back to the 6th century BC. Caesar himself was even impressed with the loyalty and strength of the Mastiff during the Roman conquest of England. Typical males of this breed can weigh around 250 pounds, but one in particular, named Zorba, was the world's heaviest and longest dog during its lifetime, weighing in at a jaw-dropping 343 pounds. Number 8. Greater Swiss Mountain Dog Developed in the Swiss Alps, this robust and heavy-boned dog has great physical strength but also maintains the agility to perform farm duties. Considered the oldest and largest of the Swiss Mountain Dogs, Typical males can weigh well over 150 pounds and reach heights of around 30 inches. The enthusiastic nature of this dog, along with its strong affinity to people and especially children, make the Greater Swiss Mountain Dog a happy, intelligent, and sociable breed. Number 7. Bully Kutta A descendant of the extinct Alant, the Pakistani Mastiff known as the Bully Kutta is an ancient dog breed originally from, you guessed it, Pakistan. The Bully Kutta can be found in brindle, brown, black, fawn, and various bicolor combinations, but the predominant color is white. An average height for a Bully Kutta, the Bully part of its name actually comes from the Punjab or Urdu word Bully, meaning very wrinkly, and Kutta is the word for dog. An average height for a Bully Kutta is 35 inches, and they can weigh up to 210 pounds. These dogs are very trainable, and most of the time very docile and friendly. Number 6. Dog de Bordeaux You may hear people refer to these as French Mastiffs or Bordeaux Mastiffs, but the Dog de Bordeaux is an ancient French dog breed. It's muscular and powerful, and historically has done several different types of jobs, like hauling heavy objects, pulling carts, and guarding things like flocks and castles. Weighing in around 150 pounds, the Dog de Bordeaux is a massive and powerful build but is not quite as tall as some of the other breeds. You'll find them with distinctive, wide, massive heads compared to the rest of their body. Unfortunately for them and their owners, there are several medical issues common to the breed. And of all the breeds, their average lifespan is the shortest, ranging from between 5 and 6 years. Number 5. Kangol Originating in Turkey, the Kangal is another livestock guardian breed. The standard U.S. height of a Kangal is 30 to 32 inches. Females can weigh around 120 pounds, and males can weigh up to around 145 pounds. The fact that it's not as heavy as some of the other Mastiff-type breeds makes it more agile and a little bit faster than some of the other larger dogs. As a matter of fact, a Kangal can reach a speed of up to 30 miles per hour. You might think that a dog that fast gets a little bit hyper, but generally, Kangals are calm, independent, powerful, controlled, and protective. That is, when properly socialized. Number 4. Landseer Although some kennel clubs consider this breed to be a black and white variant of a Newfoundland, the International Federation of Kennel Clubs recognizes the Landseer as a separate breed. Its body proportions are very similar to the Newfoundland, with males reaching around 32 inches tall and weighing about 180 pounds. They really love to swim, 
and have been known to rescue drowning people. Because it's a little bit quicker and more responsive than a Newfoundland, a land seer is a little bit easier to train and is generally known for its sweet disposition, serenity, and gentleness. Number 3. Akbash Weighing between 75 and 150 pounds, the Akbash was primarily bred as a livestock guardian dog and is native to western Turkey. It's generally taller and leaner than the other Turkish livestock breeds. You can often see an akbash with light markings on the ears and a smooth short to medium full white double coat. Although they have tremendous power, focus, endurance, and perseverance, akbashes tend to have a fine temperament, calm, and aware. They will generally live up to 10 or 11 years. Number 2. Cane Corso an Italian breed valued as a great hunter and guardian, the Cane Corso is closely related to the Neapolitan Mastiff. It is slightly less bulky than other Mastiff breeds, but is definitely well muscled. At a height of about 28 inches, it's a little bit smaller than the Neapolitan Mastiff, and generally weighs between 88 and 110 pounds. Regarding lifespan, a Cane Corso is likely to live between 10 and 12 years. Number 1. Kuvaz Originally used for guarding livestock, the Kuvaz is an ancient breed of Hungarian dog. It has a dense, white double coat that can be anywhere from wavy to completely straight. The Kuvaz is a little less bulky and robust in comparison to Swiss Mountain Dogs, but is often used to help shepherds protect their herds, due in large part because of their size and agility. The Kuvaz is well known to be an intelligent dog and are generally considered even to have a clownish sense of humor. If you like this video, why not hit that like button and remember to hit the subscribe button for more videos every two days.